Hello, dears. Welcome to Beauty for Heart. I'm leading us a nice little. Today, I'll be sharing with you, dears. Customize your own copper eyeshadow palette. Last month, I customized a pink eyeshadow palette. I was inspired by this very beautiful US beauty YouTuber. Her name is Christina Brooke. She customized her own dream eyeshadow palette if she were to do a collaboration with a company in the future. And recently, a lot of you dears are not into buying new makeup, me included. So I'm finding different ways to reuse and revisit my own makeup products. And I thought this is such a good idea. So I asked Christina for her permission and she said yes for me to do this video. And so I did. And last month, I was customizing my pink eyeshadow palettes and one of my dear YouTube friends, Beauty Star Mama. Beauty Star Mama is also a beauty YouTuber and I will link her channel in the description box and also in the iCard. Likewise for Christina Brooke, I will link her video and her channel in the iCard and the description box below. So Beauty Star Mama asked me to customize a copper eyeshadow palette because that is what she's into right now. So I did with a little twist again. So in this video, I will share with you my idea of creating this copper eyeshadow palettes and the color selection, the hand swatches, and this eye makeup look. And hopefully, this video can inspire you, dears, to relook really at your existing secret eyeshadow, have fun, and flare your creativity customizing your copper eyeshadow palette. And if you do, please tag me in my Instagram account. I will link it up over here. Somewhere up there and also in the description box. And so, let's get started! To come clean with you, dears, when I saw Beauty Star Mama ask me to do a copper eyeshadow palette, I was thinking I don't have so much copper color eyeshadow. So I was thinking of mixing some colors into this copper color theme eyeshadow palettes. And when we talk about copper, I was thinking that the palette should be very warm and filled with metal colors, metals like gold, silver, bronze, and copper. I was actually thinking of this ColourPop California Love, which is the brown, bronze, and gold palette. But I want to add some pops of colors to make the palette more attractive. And I was thinking of purple. I don't know why I was thinking of purple, because purple is more cool tone. And the main idea for this palette should be warm tone. But probably because I don't see much copper with purple. So for this customized copper palette, there are 18 colors. They are of different color depth. They are a mix of a little cool but many warm color tones. And they are colors to be used on different parts of the eyes. I usually prefer a 60% shimmers, chrome, glitter or metallic colors and 40% matte. This palette slightly tilted more to the shimmery, the metallics, the chromes and the glitter side. There are 5 mattes in this customized palette as well as 13 shimmers. And let's start with the first row. And this first row is mainly the crease, the crease transition and the highlighter color. So starting with this secret eyeshadow from Colourpop with Dark Core. In this palette, I will be using mainly Colourpop because I have a lot of Colourpop secret eyeshadows. This is a matte warm sand color. I always like to use a natural skin-like color for the crease. And this is this color. From Colourpop again, this is the second color, Sea Stars. This is a matte medium yellow brown. You can use this as the transition color or the crease color. And recently, I'm not so much into dark colors for my outer corner of the eyes. I just like a lighter color. So in this palette, I will be using also the transition as the outer corner. And this is the color Sea Stars. Oh, is this better? This way should be better. And the third color will be Amy Hearts Beauty. This is a matte mustard yellow brown, which is this color. Next color will be Martian from Colourpop again. This is a matte orange brown. But yesterday when I went to their website, I cannot find this color anymore. So I guess this is probably discontinued. And also in this palette, there will be a lot of discontinued colors, which is this color over here. And you can use this color as the transition color or at the outer corner color. There is tiny little specks of shimmers in this color, but on the eyes, the shimmer is not obvious. Next color is from Amy Hearts Beauty. The color name is Ghost. This is a white shimmer with a little glitter and a light green flip. 
You can use this color on the inner corner as a highlighter. Next color is also from ColourPop on a whimsy. It's a metallic silver, which is this color. And I'm using this color at the inner corner highlights and also under the eyebrow bone. You just can also use it as a main color on the eyelid. Now comes the second row, which is mainly the main eyelid color. And they are all metallic. So starting from the first one, which is this carrot cake, again from ColourPop. And this is a metallic gold color. Next color also from ColourPop, over it. And I cannot find this color in their website. This is a metallic peach with a gold flip, which is this color. Next, this is two birds from ColourPop again. And this is discontinued. This is the color, it's a metallic bronze. Next, also from ColourPop, and this is Cracker. I cannot find this anymore in the website. And this is a metallic red copper. This is the color, and this is also the color on my main eyelid. And this is Mili, also from ColourPop. This is a metallic intense penny copper. And this is the color. There is a pink undertone. Last color on the second row, which is this. Thank you, next from ColourPop again. This is a metallic dual chrome, rosy bronze with a copper flip. And this is the last color of the second row. Thank you, next. The last row are mainly the metallic colors and the main eyelid colors. With the exception of this last color, it's a matte dark cool brown color. So the rest color over here are the main eyelid color. So starting from this, the first color on the third row is from Makeup with Rising Phoenix. This is discontinued from their website. I don't know how to pronounce the name. So this is a shimmery purple with a very very fine glitter. This is the color. Next will be this color from ColourPop again, Neutrino. It's a metallic purple with a blue sheen, which is this. Next is this color from Sydney Grace, Flanner. This is the kind of purple that I really like. It's a deep dark royal purple. This is under their winter bundle which is already discontinued. It's a metallic deep dark royal purple. All my Sydney Grace single eyeshadow comes from this winter bundle and this winter bundle is all discontinued. So all my singles eyeshadow from Sydney Grace are all discontinued. Continuing with this single eyeshadow from Makeup with Rising Phoenix. This is a glitter trichrome color. At a different angle, you can see top, then gold, then silver. And this is the color I have over here. Very interesting color. And this is the color. Next, this is Celebrate from Sydney Grace. Still under the winter bundle which is already discontinued. It's a metallic yellow green. And this is what I use over here at the lower lash line. You can use this color as the main eyelid color. But there was once I used it at the inner corner highlight color. Which adds to a very interesting twist to the eye makeup look. And again from Sydney Grace, this is Mittens. It's a matte dark cool brown. This is a repeated color from my previous customized your own pink eyeshadow palette. This is the matte. And this is what I use for my outer corner today. And this is the last row. The more colorful rows, the purple and the green.
Here's the eye makeup look. So let me start off with the crease color using this color pop C stars and apply on the crease. Next, applying these mittens from Sydney Grace at the outer corner. Yes, if you hear some noise, it's because Mr. Kwan is cooking. So let's continue with this Makeup with Rising Phoenix. And using finger, the last finger to apply over here at the beginning of the eyelid. Their formula is so good, I no need to wet it. I can just apply it dry and the pigmentation is intense. And here it is. Next, using my finger again to pick up this color cracker from Colourpop and applying the main eyelid. But this time around, I'm going to spray my index finger with the water as it will pick up the shimmers better. Here's a clean finger to marry these two colors together first to avoid any harsh line and the brush to marry these two colors together. Like this. Next, using this color pop on a whimsy and apply at the inner corner. Again, I'm going to wet it and apply with this Sigma brush. Apply the remaining under the eyebrow bone. Smudge out with the finger. Alright dears, I will apply the eyeliner and fade lashes and come back to complete the lower lash line. See you in a while. Hello dears, I'm back. And this is a retake because just now when I was shooting, the battery died. So the video file wasn't saved, so I got to retake this. I'll repeat what I say just now. I'm using this from Colourpop Gel Eyeliner, Get Paid, and draw it at the waterline. And this time, I'm doing something different that is to draw two wings over here, if you can see, for my upper eyeliner. That's because I draw wrongly. So next, I'm going to use this from Sydney Grace, Celebrate and apply at the lower lash line. That's it! Alright dears, that's all for the sharing today. Question of the day, what do you think of this customized copper eyeshadow palette? Please comment in the comment section below, yeah? Thank you so much. Yes, if this video inspired you to re-look at your current Sika eyeshadow collection and you want to customize the palette, please tag me in your creation at my Instagram. Thank you so much. Also, if you dears have any color team you want me to do next month, please also comment in the comment section below. Thank you! And last but not least, here's an inner beauty tip for us to be more beautiful and more wise. Creativity. The more we use, the more we have. Thank you so much for watching, dears. If you like this video, please subscribe, comment, share, and like this video. Thank you. May you dears have a peaceful, blissful, and joyful week ahead. See you next time. Bye!